there's been a lot of question about how to add Google font into a uh, web page. The great thing about Artist here is that it's really quick and easy to set up. The one bad thing about it, however, though, is that it's kind of limited on the font. So what we want to do is use Google Fonts because there's a lot more out there. I think Artist here's got like 30 or 40. I don't really know. Uh, Google's at like a little over 500 right now. So that really opens up the capabilities of what we're able to do. Um, so what I'm going to do in this tutorial is actually show you how to go through and uh, change the font within your template. What we're going to do is actually change this font right here. Now, it really doesn't matter which font you want to change. You can see based on Firefox, and you should have this on your computer to do this. Um, you can go in and select basically whichever one. And you can see I've actually selected, changed this font in the template. And you can see it's graduate with an aerial backup essentially. Um, what we want to do is change this one. So we go through our blue box, we look at it right here, pull it up and we can look through then and try to find it. Looks like on this template, uh, it's line 1437. Um, we're trying to change the H menu, but you're essentially trying to essentially find out whatever one it is that you're working with here. Um, so what we need to do is to go ahead and download our template CSS. Um, that's gonna be the first thing that we do. So we go ahead and we pull up our um, Dreamweaver and of course we're in our baseball template template CSS and we pull that down um, and it looks like we need to go through it was line 1437 we're right here right now um, go ahead and pull up your font and you can see the sand creek now you're going to basically just look through Google fonts look for which one you want to find um, try to pick something with a really low page load time because obviously if it's a long then the words aren't going to show up until that stuff gets downloaded so kind of important um, so what we need to do is the first thing is just enter in the name sand creek and where you're going to find that is you're going to see this right here family equals sand creek so if we go through back over to our dream waiver and pull this out and enter in sand creek that's going to be the first step. So we go to File, Save, Files, Template, Upload, yes of course. We put the CSS file to the template. Now here's the other tricky part and this is something you guys are going to want to keep in mind. You want to copy this in, go back over to your template, edit the HTML, you can do this in Dreamweaver or um, you can just go through the Joomla version. Um, for whatever reason lately it's just not working very well with Dreamweaver so I'm just going right to the template. What you want to do is right before the end head tag is that link that you copied from here right before head you paste it there and then we click save and so now if we come back over and we reload our page voila brand new font and then we can go back into Dreamweaver and we can change the size because obviously that size was too small so let's bump this up to 18 uh, letter spacing let's give it a little bit more pixelation between the letter spacing if you have any other questions on how to do this you can always just go to your CSS hit refresh, double click here, and it will tell you all the information that you really want. So if you want like a font weight or a font style as far as normal, italic, or oblique, whatever the case may be, you can go through and do this. Um, so that's a really good way of doing it. The interesting part too, and I'll get to this in a second, let me go ahead and change this first. Um, I'm gonna hit okay. And this is really interesting. Um, I just found this out and I was like, wow, this really opens up the possibilities even more. So we're going to go ahead and save that. Files, back to the template, re-upload it. Yep. And then of course, go back through, hit reload. Voila, nice and clean. Um, you know, and maybe that's 
but you know I have to admit that font's not really good for your, this website um, it just the color mixture doesn't go well but that, you know what that's something you have to decide here's something that's really interesting though when I put this template in this background was black and it was pulling the images from artist here um, I went and changed this font and then I changed the background of the font and all of a sudden the module heads changed so that might open up the possibility for creating different mul uh, multiple different um, boxes in there so here I'm going to show you how this happened um, and this is something that I'm probably going to do another tutorial on down the road let me just get through this um, and I just want to show you what I'm talking about here the file uh, it was actually graduate was the thing here um, so if I go to a block header which is what it was and I pull up the CSS and double click on it I went to background and it had background image and background color so um, you know the background image you could do but you're gonna have to have the URL and that gets kinda tricky sometimes for some people so I'm just gonna keep it real simple for this right now I'm just gonna turn this to green for right now and I'm gonna apply and I'm gonna click OK save files backup upload it um, but I think this is going to come interesting because I think instead of having like our block header, um, I think you're going to be able to create different, basically just an, you know, art block two with all of like everything that would be in like art block, art block body, art block, you know, such and such, whatever the case may be. I think that's where we're going to go with this next. So we'll take a look to see if that works down the road. Um, but we changed this one to green. So we'll go ahead and upload this again. And bam, look, it's green. So um, I think this is going to change the possibilities for this. I think it will make it more interesting. Um, I'm going to go ahead and undo this because I don't really, you know, want to do that. Graduate, find next. And then let's go CSS. Open that up. Background. Let's go green. Nope, let's go black. Apply. OK. Um, so this is one of those things that I think it might open some possibilities. Now some people may wonder like why is it that I'm talking about this because I might not figure it out but it might lead somebody in the right direction. So for those of you who are going to post on my YouTube here, quit babbling, you're wasting our time. No, because there's somebody who might watch this video who might figure out like how to add that second block or they might be nice enough to post something to me on how to add that second block so that would be great help for my design so I greatly appreciate that uh, go back pull it up one more time hit refresh and you can see it's back to black so what we did essentially was change this font here and then we can change this font and background and things like that here um, this could also open up some possibilities for like the titles and things like that um, they're not the best with that so if you can actually put an image in the background um, that might be extremely helpful and kind of cool too um, so I hope you guys like this I hope it helped out some um, if somebody does figure out how to do the second colors make sure you post it back to my YouTube I'd greatly appreciate it uh, have a great day